Senator Mike Lee has taken issue with Utah's prominent media outlet, KSL, accusing them of falsely identifying violent criminals by gender, which he believes poses significant risks and societal repercussions. Just a few days ago in St. George, Utah, a six foot one man violently murdered both of his parents. Uh, a manhunt ensued shortly thereafter. And the largest broadcast media outlet in the state of Utah, KSL, uh, a big juggernaut, both in radio and in television, announced to the public that they should be on alert for a woman, for a woman who had just murdered her parents. Now, there are a few problems with this. Um, most glaringly, when you're in the middle of a manhunt and you're looking for a violent murderer, you don't want to be looking for the wrong person. In those critical moments, you want the public's eyes to be peeled for the killer. And number two, it's really offensive to a lot of people that they would uh, uh, associate this person as being a woman when, in, in fact, was a man. Um, women are very, very unlikely, statistically, to engage in violent mass murder. And uh, so the fact that they did this is laughable in a sense, but on a much deeper level, it's really, really troubling. Why would KSL, whose job it is to educate and inform the public, especially in moments like this where it really counts, where it really matters, where lives uh, could have been on, uh, at stake because they were at stake, why would KSL do this? Why would KSL's management think that that was okay and that that wasn't horrible to do it? Something's terribly wrong in our state. When the uh, longtime uh, biggest, uh, most respected, uh, the broadcast entity with the most viewership and, and listenership in the state, why would they do that? The desire to be liked by the chic and woke is destructive. It's destructive to our state and to our country. And I'm very, very concerned with the fact that KSL thinks this is okay. They need to clean house. In situations involving public safety, accurate communication is paramount. Professor Lee's criticism of KSL for labeling violent offenders as women highlights a potentially dangerous and misguided attempt at political correctness. Particularly when public safety is on the line, the media must prioritize factual accuracy over current social trends. This insistence on truth, individual accountability, and the ethical responsibility of truthful reporting is crucial. Senator Lee's comments can be seen as a call for genuine and responsible communication, urging both individuals and institutions to act based on reality and truth. The media's moral obligation to deliver accurate information is immensely valuable, as it forms the cornerstone of informed and responsible public discourse. Misidentifying the gender of suspects can have profound effects on the public psyche, leading to confusion, fear, and a growing distrust in media institutions, especially during critical situations where lives are at stake. By favoring social trends over factual accuracy, the media risks undermining its credibility and eroding public trust. The public's reaction to KSL's decision could influence social norms and values. This incident also opens up a discussion about the conflict between adhering to progressive social trends and the necessity for accurate, responsible communication. Ethical considerations must balance the media's role in truth-telling with its sensitivity to social issues, ultimately shaping public perception.